How's it going, everyone? Chase Lee here reporting for WeLiveEntertainment.com in the We Live Film section. And welcome back to my continuing coverage of the 2016 South by Southwest Film Festival. And I got another one to throw at you guys, and this is more of a smaller movie, uh, more independent. And I'll guarantee you the budget was super small when you watch the, the story and the, uh, the movie unfold. And that would be Shovel Buddies. Now, I didn't know anything about this movie going in. I just know that there is a certain Vine and YouTube star in it. And I was like, oh, dear Lord, I am not looking forward to this. However, I'm going to put my foot in my own mouth because I thought uh, the person that was in it that is a Vine and YouTube star who I found very annoying in the past is actually pretty solid in this movie. And I actually want to see more from him. So let's get real and break this down. Now, the story reads as this. Um, some, uh, some friends... Uh, they're, you know, they're like a group of friends or whatever. They lose one of their own, um, uh, to cancer and, uh, their friend that died from cancer sent, uh, one of, uh, the friends in the group, a Snapchat, uh, fulfilling one of his last requests, uh, to be buried, uh, uh, in a certain way and stuff. And so they go on this journey to, uh, do this last request for their friend. And that's about it. I don't want to spoil anything else, but that's the uh, basic plot of the movie. Now let's start with the writing and directing. Now the way it is uh, constructed with the story and the way it's written and stuff. I like it. I think it's a very solid movie. It's a, it's got a lot of themes playing throughout, you know, friendship and what it means to be a friend to someone. You got some guilt in there. You got some redemption. It's just, there's a lot of good stuff going on. I thought it was a solid, a little movie like that, and I, I really uh, enjoyed it on the, that aspect. In terms of the dialogue and stuff, the dialogue can seem kind of a little stilted with the acting and stuff. And there's some parts where uh, uh, Keen Lolly is his name, the uh, Vine YouTube star. I don't really care for in on those apps. Um, his character tried to be funny a little too much, and uh, some of the some of the sarcastic lines didn't come off so well. So some of the dialogue just didn't really come through as genuine, and it felt like a script. So that would be my only complaints on that. Um, as far as the directing goes, I thought it was really well done. It kind of reminded me of like um, if you guys have ever seen Mean Creek, uh, the one with Josh Peck. Uh, that's a really good kind of like um, type of drama thriller with a, a, a bunch of. Uh, kids and teenagers and stuff and that was really well handled so it kind of remind me of that which i really enjoy and you know like i said this is a really good solid story and you want to follow uh these kids on their journey to complete their mission and stuff um so it was really kind of touching to see that they would go this far for their friend but there's a lot more kind of to it you know how like when you see like a bunch of friends on social media like man they look like they have a lot of fun but deep down you know that there's probably problems that riff in between all of them because not everyone's gonna really uh gel 100 percent of the time you're gonna have arguments and you're gonna yell at each other and this movie they kind of explore it. it's like you know you know, we, uh, he's been a shitty friend to me, but like, I'm still his friend and stuff. So like, um, they would explain why he's, he was terrible, why that guy was terrible, why that person was terrible to that person. But you knew deep down that they were friends and, uh, they really wanted to complete this for their, uh, friend that passed away. So I really enjoyed on that aspect. Um, uh, let's see. There was a couple of stupid moments in the plot where I'm just like, Really? Like, come on. Like, I just, like I said, if I say anything, I'll, I'll spoil, spoil, uh, spoil it. But there's a couple parts where I was like, would they really, would that really happen? So, um, other than that, I think it's a very solid story uh, about friendship and just how far someone will go for it. And I think that's uh, really kind of endearing. So, in terms of the acting, so let me say this right now, Keen Lolly, if you are watching this review. Never cared for your vines, man. Never cared for your YouTube stuff. I'm glad that this movie kind of showed a different side to you. I, I like that dramatic side of you and uh, kind of that sarcastic angle that you got going on because I've never found him to be funny in uh, any of his uh, online content. But watching this movie, I, I can see that there's something there, and I'm glad that he's exploring it a little bit. All the other actors do just fine. Bella Thorne is in this, and she's, she's really uh, – well casted the little brother's good the uh the main character's good even the 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 kid that died of cancer um uh oh man i forgot his name. <laughs> they said so much in the movie but you know i've seen 12 movies at the festival so you gotta bear with me but uh i thought everyone was really good like i loved all the uh uh you know the kid actors and stuff or the teenagers or you know i mean i know they're way older but 
you know, them portraying the teens, I, lo- I loved all of them. I thought they were uh, really well done. I-, I just loved all the depth between their characters in terms of like, yeah, we're friends and stuff. We got to do this for a friend. Oh, man, there's like a lot of stuff in between us and stuff. And, you know, once our friend died, it caused a rift. And, you know, we get to a little bit no- know more about their backstory and like um, just what they really think about each other. But deep down, like I said, they- you know that they're friends. So I loved uh, the acting in this. And like I said, Keenan Lawley, Keep it up, man. Like, you showed me promise, and I will shut up now. So when you come out with your next one, I will watch it. So uh, in terms of the cinematography, it had this, like, really kind of cool, like, gritty, kind of grounded look to it because most of it was shot at night in the streets of L.A., and I just I felt like I was there. I felt like I was there with these people and going along on this journey and hoping that they complete it and stuff. So I thought the cinematography was, was just like I said, it was really just kind of gritty and uh, just really kind of realistic in the sense of um, uh, nighttime uh, filmmaking. So I, I really appreciate that. Editing wise, it's an hour and an hour and twenty minutes, I believe. It's it's pretty short. I think it was the shortest movie I saw at South by. It flies by because it takes place over the course of like uh, a night. Um, or like a, I would say like a day and the fact that they, you could actually make a, a really good genuine story, uh, out of, um, uh, this movie for an hour and 20 minutes is pretty outstanding. And so, like I said, I, I was with these kids from the beginning. Now at the very beginning, it was a little rough at first. And I don't know if it was because of the base in the movie or how the movie just started, but it felt a little, a little jaded. And I felt like there was a lot of scenes that were dubbed uh from like a uh, like an adr dub and i just it felt really weird and like i said i don't know if it was because of the bass in my theater but it just it didn't seem natural um from the actors and stuff so it did take me a while to get into it i could say like after the first like five ten minutes i kind of i got into it more maybe because it just doesn't seem like more of an adr movie at that point but like i said i don't know if it's because the theater or the movie but that's the way it it kind of seemed, it just seemed like an ADR recording. And so the acting was a little bit more, like I said, jaded than the rest of the movie. So I don't know, maybe I'm just going crazy. Who knows? But I was still interested overall and it was just a really uh, nice, sweet story. So uh, is this my favorite movie, the festival? No. Uh, Even with the small little flaws that I have with it, I still think it's a solid movie that you should see. And it, you know, if you're not a fan of Vine stars, you know, this movie does uh, show some promise that uh, some of them, that actually train and acting and stuff actually have some chops. So I'm going to give Shovel Buddies a B. So that is my thoughts on that movie. So have you seen Shovel Buddies or have you even heard of it? Comment in the place up on my face and let me know, even if you want to see it and stuff. So uh, let me know in those comments down below. So I'm Chase Lee reporting for WeLiveEntertainment.com, the We Live Film section. And uh, um, that is my continuing coverage of uh, uh, South by Southwest Film Festival. I want to thank you guys uh for tuning in uh, and watching all 12 of these movies and stuff. So uh, yeah, so just uh, tune in next time for whatever I review next on my podcast or just uh, uh, another movie in general. So uh, I will see you guys later.